So this is how you can use Poll Everywhere to add interactivity to a PowerPoint. So I'm just here on the website to give you a bit of an idea of what it can do. You can make a multiple choice poll, open-ended questions. You can get people to ask questions and then answer them. So you could kind of get students to generate their own questions. Uh, you get, get them to rank things depending on your content area and you can also add clickable images. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like. So it just works as a plugin for your PowerPoint and then you'll have a slide that will look like this that will give people the code so they can either use it through their browser or there's also an option where you can access it via your phone without a cost so you basically send a text message that sends you the question and gives you options to respond. Uh, so here this was the question are you interested in hearing about the academic justifications for and then these are the options and so I use this as a branching path basically so uh, if everyone picked neither, we would have talked about none of these topics, uh, as it was people picked just worked examples, and then so that was the option that I talked about, rather than just going through a whole bunch of information that no one was particularly interested in hearing. And then within the same presentation, so this one was, how confident do you feel using technology to deliver differentiated con content? And so that was a positive response. Um, so just to give you a bit of an idea of where to focus what you're working on, what you're explaining. How confident do you feel teaching to a camera? Most people are relatively uncomfortable, which was useful information for the content there. And then this is an example of the image one. So uh, participants had to find where Wally was uh, using their phone or their computer or whatever app they were using. And so they, by clicking, you put basically a little pin on where you think Wally is. Uh, you could probably use this for a range of different things, but it's probably easier for you to imagine than for me. Uh, for my in my setting, you might do it for image analysis, maybe persuasive language techniques, things like those, or you could probably look at a map really easily as well as an example. And then just super quickly, once you've made a login and installed it as an add-in to PowerPoint, it just looks like this. You go to New, it provides you with the New Activity tab, and you can pick any of the options that I just provided you at the start, or more granular examples as well, which you'll see in a second. Okay, and then these are all your options, and there's a whole bunch more that you can look at and play around with, but let's just add a clickable image. This is our question. Uh, our question is, how do, how do you feel about the exam? That's the image, and then they'll be able to click anywhere that they, that they like. And then this is what our PowerPoint looks like. We've got our title slide, and then the question up the top is, how do you feel about the exam? You've got the respond link, and then the participants can click wherever they feel on the line, which might be useful for sort of like an exit ticket or sort of to warm up on a lesson, or this could be an image that has a, had a range of topics, or it could just be the text itself, and the students could pick what they're going to be working on for revision or for the work for that lesson or really any ideas you've got. And that's how it works. Feel free to give it a try.